Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. As you clicked on this video and as you've seen in the title, this video is going to be five winter wardrobe essentials. Things that you would want to incorporate into your winter wardrobe as the weather is starting to drop and get really cold. So before I get into today's video, make sure you guys go down below, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button as well, turn on your post notifications so you can get notified every single time I upload a brand new video. Let's get started. So the first thing that you would want to make sure that you have is a jean jacket. Jean jackets are perfect for layering as far as wanting to pair it with a hoodie, even like layering it the hoodie with a t-shirt and then the jean jacket on top, just to make sure that you are keeping in some extra warmth. It would be better to get something that's more so not so on the cheap side because you do want it to also want to keep you warm while trying to have a layering effect and not having too, um, too much like a little different, more uh, different feel than a puffer or a pea coat would be giving. So the next thing up as far as for winter wardrobes would have to be your beanies. You always want to make sure that you want to have different color and variety of beanies on deck so that way you're able to rotate them in and out of your wardrobe and with different looks and color palettes that you are going for. Different colors, um, textures, they have so many different beanies that I am still trying to get different colors and textures for like different kind of beanies to, so I can have a different variety. But I do like my basics. I have mainly just a black one, cream one, gray one, and a black one. I think that's it. I don't know, it's like a different, it's like a charcoal kind of gray. But I'm still adding on, and I do think that they are essential for the winter. To also keep your ears warm. You don't want to be walking around with cold ears. And usually if my ears get cold, the rest of my body is cold. So definitely beanies. The next thing up would have to be what I mentioned earlier with the layering effect is your hoodies. Hoodies usually do are a huge key essential within the fall and winter time. Having different color hoodies, different textures, different fabrics, sometimes thick, sometimes even thin ones depending on your layering or how you are styling it into your outfit. Hoodies are definitely going to be needed for your winter wardrobe. I like, I'm still, as y'all have seen in my closet tour, I want to still grow um, different colors within my hoodies. I am still working on adding, adding on a little bit more color into my wardrobe as I have removed some stuff. So yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely hoodies. So the next thing would have to be puffers. Um, puffers, like bubble coats, like those are definitely sufficient for keeping you warm throughout the winter time because I don't know what it is. It's just the look of a, like a puffer with like a really dope outfit. It really looks good. So on top of having a really dope outfit, you're wearing something that's also keeping you warm and you're not out here being cold for the internet and for fit pics. Though sometimes it is worth it, but there are a variety of places that have puffer coats. Once again, puffer coats are not something that you would want to go on the cheap side with. So you definitely want to kind of invest into the type of puffer coat that you're wanting to get. Usually ones that do make you hot are usually the best ones that you would want to go for because we don't know how cold it is going to get this winter. As you know, we have um, climate change. So it's definitely going to be a really, really cold winter. So you definitely do not want to play around with your puffer jacket. And last but not least would have to be bags. Why bags for the winter? Because you don't want to be carrying your stuff inside of your pockets, which will be weighing you down a little bit. And you don't want to be carrying anything in your hands because your hands are going to be out and open and you're going to be cold. So different variety of bags as far as um, sizing and pockets. So that way you'll be able to store as much as you want or even just as little as you want. So hopefully you find these tips essential for your wardrobe and adding things into your winter closet. And if you did, go down below, hit the like button. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there and drop any comments or questions if you have any down below. Swing over to my Instagram, drop a DM. I'll be replying back as everyone hits me up. And until next time guys, I'll see you in my next video. Later, guys.